okay what's up guys welcome to another video tutorial so today i'm going to teach you guys how to make a blur effect in videos so how this is done is pretty simple you head over to the asset library and search for push process and this plugin will come out so you can check out some stuff about it you can also check it out on github it has a github page when you click it so you can see part of the stuff it has is the blood effect which we have we are um which we are focusing for today there are other visual effects here i've already made a video where i went through almost all of them so you can check them out all right so quickly go i'm going to show you guys in the 2d scene because in 2d you can see it in real time because it's a um it's a canvas layer type node so once you downloaded the assets you go back to project settings and go over to plugins and you activate it click on on that so what next is you click plus and you search for post process and you can see as i said it's a canvas and uh, type node so yeah create and add it to your scene so what you do is it's added to your scene uh, i'm going to go back to the 2d first I don't mind because I have something that's why showing this just will be like this at all. So click on this configuration icon and click new. And now you can check out some bunch of stuff. There are so many stuff so you can go through them on your own leisure. But I'll be focusing in visual effects below. So you click that on and you can see the dot has looked somehow like it's using some has extra pixels value. So if you increase that or reduce that, you can see it's getting blood. So that's just how easy it is to get stuff blood in using this plugin. If I run the scene, remember the three D scene is I'm going to hide the icon so it doesn't show. So if I run it, it you see it also works in the three D scene. So and as you can see, the blood, yeah, is blood. So that's it. That's how you add the blood effect in Google. Now, I know you might be thinking, hey, but we don't use blur every single time. I understand. So how do you activate the blur stuff in scripts? Well, first things first you're going to do is you might want to save this. This is a resource, so you can save it. Pretty cool. So click Save, Save As. Um, I've already saved mine as blur tutorial. You can save your own as whatever you want. Click Save. You do override that. And now you create the scripts and stuff. So I have a variable called now that I'll call this blood resource. Blood resource. All right. This guy is gonna give me error. So I'll call it blood resource. Blood resource. Okay, so you create a variable called blur, and this is the configuration. This whole configuration thing in this resource configuration, this is his class name. So if you just type that out, I don't know if you have the plugin installed, you see the press in there, post process configuration, and you preload it as the blog which you saved, the blog of CRS which you saved. Also, you can drag this in like this, it will do that and turn this to a variable so you can change stuff. Yeah. That also work. that's how I got the blood to yeah. So yeah, okay. So now what I did is next is I added a input function that when I press blow, it's going to turn it blow, and when I release the blow action, it's going to stop being blow. So I'm going to perform increase it to max, and uh, you know how to put an input map. There's no way. So then just to show you can see blow and it's space bar. So click play. I'll see you in the next 10 seconds when this is loaded. Okay, so as you can see, if I press blur, it gets blood. And if I release it, it's on blood. So that's how you use it in scripts. Now, in case you have some issues like the, your, the blur is not working, please make sure that the post process node, the resource is actually the resource you are being calling. You are calling in the scripts because if it's not it's not going to work and saving this resource is pretty cool so that you can use it in any way any way you want to call this from thing you can just use an export variable and slap that in for example i just to 
export export bar and i'll be able to slap the blood resource there on the node so pretty cool next i'll make a tutorial on how to use the screen shake and also how to do speed lines i'll be making this tutorial as i can so if you want to check out the quick brief of everything check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there